so for this upgrade i decided to get the ddcs controllers for this since we have two cnc machines i'm going to get the ddcs 3.1 and the ddcs expert for the big machines let me show you these are the mpgs as you can see right here there you have them you have the controllers and next we're going to go in with the ddcs 3.1 so one thing you will notice is the size. The DDCS expert is bigger in size compared to the DDCS 3.1. Right here, the DDCS expert has more functions compared to this one. That's why we're going to use it on a more professional machine. You see right here, this is the MPG for the DDCS expert. See, it's written here for the DDCS expert. Here we have the MPG for the DDCS 3.1 is a bit smaller. So my attention is more on the DDCS expert. Let's talk about the build quality. As far as the build quality is concerned, we have this is built out of metal. It's very solid. Has so many ports behind. We are going to get into that. And run and has a 7 inches display. Right here we have very clicky buttons on top of the display right here and we and this controller is a five axis controller as you can see right here we have the x-axis so if we want to drop on the x-axis we click here if we want to drop the y-axis these are the buttons to use if we want to click on the z-axis these are the buttons to use and if we want to click on the fourth axis these are the buttons to use and then is the that the fifth axis okay so if we want to start a program we just click here we first of all select the program by pressing f2 we go there we select the program and then we come and click on start we have the possibility of pausing a run a program that is currently running and we have the possibility of restarting the program from start so we have this other buttons here this is to control the spindle i guess to try cut and then for for, for mpg control and here we have these buttons here to navigate the menu on top of this controller so these are function buttons so we can see right here f6 we have edit up here on f6 we have edit up here so f5 new copy to disk for f4 rename delete switch so if you want to navigate and go to more through more menus and that, that that's it so um if you want to change our settings like the steps per millimeter we go to parameters we press f3 and then we have those uh those things there so we can just navigate through the machine we go to machine and then we have steps x-axis post per millimeters we have here 200 so there are there are so many things that has that that have to be changed uh, depending on the machine we are using. So this is about the buttons of this controller. So let's go to the to the back where we have the ports. So right here you see that we have so many ports. But to connect the motors to our controller right here, we have this port. This is for the fifth axis, this is for the fourth axis, Z axis, Y axis, and the X axis. So there are five of them. And right here, we have things for the input, for the input and the output port of our controller. So if we have limit switches that we have to connect, limit switches or end stops that we have to connect to our CNC controller, these are the pins, these are the input pins because CNC uh, limit switches are input devices to, to be connected to this device. And here we have output devices, for example, if we want to put on a vacuum or put on uh, a compressor, uh, sensing signal for a compressor or whatever, these are the pins to be used. And here we have these uh, pins here to control the spindle. So we have our, our, our spindle is controlled through PWM. So this is the PWM signal. That this is where the PWM signal is tapped from. We have forward, we have com, we have ACM, which is analog uh, ground. We have VSO. I don't know what that is. 
as I already as I already said, we have Ethernet port. We have uh, the possibility of connecting an HMI through serial communication RS232. We have uh, two flash drive ports, and we have uh, the possibility of connecting an external MPG to this uh, controller, which is which we already did here. So as you also notice, we have two uh, just to provide power. So this one, this particular port here is just to provide supply to the controller. But this one here is to provide supply to the input and output peripherals. So if we are to connect any peripheral to the device, this one need, needs to be connected. But in case we are not provide, we are not connecting any peripheral to the controller here, this one can be left out and then we are okay. In this case, our MP in this case, once we disconnect power to this particular pin here, our MPG becomes deactivated. So let us do some real tests with the uh, stepper motor. So we're going to connect this fourth axis of my old CNC machine to the DDCS expert and control it to see how it works. For that, we're going to use this driver. This is the DM556 microstep stepper motor driver. So right here, we're going to connect it here and plug it to the X pin right there. So we have something that looks like this so let's move the y so you can see right there it moves well this is for the x so let's switch it to the y axis to test that okay so we need to go to the program to the parameters and change some settings the acceleration so we have to move down to the acceleration to the acceleration of the y axis okay so for this for this stepper moto i'm going to use 100 so i'll just enter okay let me put the password okay i go back in there and enter 100 enter and then i escape i can go back now here See that works. That works. Let's swap now to the to the Z axis to see if if it works. You see the acceleration is still high. This is the first time I'm using this device, so we have to set some things before we start using them. So we can enter here. We still enter the acceleration. Here is 100. We escape. Let's go down and change for the fourth axis too. See 100. We enter. Okay. So we go now here for the Z. It is very quiet and smooth. Now let's plug our MPG back. So we can go to the X axis. That was the Z axis. See it moves very slowly so we have taken that 100 times we can emergency stop 
pauses everything, we release, back and play. So, this first impression about this controller is a positive one. I really like the controller. So I'm not going to have to use my computer anymore to connect to the, to the machine and run a G-code. So I just come in here directly and do my, my, I just come in here directly and plug in my flash drive and everything is good to go. It seems very good. I think that instead of buying the Maso, I recommend this one. And I got this from the Jpenny website from China. And this is a good CNC machine. Good CNC controller. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time on the next one. Goodbye.